Well, good morning. Um, <laughs> back for another day out here at uh, one of my favorite little places, this little overlook, as you can kind of see behind me. This is a place that I come to quite often to uh, walk scout, to just be quiet, listen. Um, I don't know if over the little uh, earpiece thing I've got, whether you can hear all the birds and hear the water that's rushing down below us. There is uh, um, plenty of it after the monsoons that we had, it felt like last night, tornado warnings and everything else. So anyway, um, Psalm 2 is our word, our passage uh, for today. And so listen to these words. Why do the nations conspire and the people's plot in vain. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, let's burst their cords asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs and the Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. Today I've begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and with trembling kiss his feet or he will be angry and you will perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all who take refuge in him. Our poem for today is written by a woman named Alicia T. Crosby, and it's simply entitled, Alongside. Happy are all who take refuge in God. Psalm 2, verse 12. What does it mean to find sacred refuge in this hour, in a time when the word, winds of toxic change whirl all around me and around us? God, I wish I felt you were laughing at the folly of those who seek to do harm, but instead, I feel you are weeping alongside me, as those who are self-serving and exploitative make gains in this world, using the labor and the necks of those they oppress as their footholds. I consider what reprieve from this could be. I meditate and reflect on the kingdom you call us into, the kingdom that affirms and acknowledges with knowing glances, messages the places rendered taut and tender, shares what it has to make sure none of us go without, and works to extend presence in imaginative ways so that we know we are never truly alone. When I think about what it means to take sacred refuge in this hour, I think of us. I think of the place where God meets me and I meet others. I think of the ways breathing becomes easier because my burdens and my resistance to them aren't born alone. Blessed are all who take refuge in the dwelling places we cultivate to help each other rest. And blessed are the spaces and the moments we inhabit together. That last part of that poem spoke to me so deeply this morning. Blessed are all who take refuge in the dwelling places we cultivate to help each other rest. And blessed are the spaces and moments we inhabit together. This time where we have all this forced separation and distancing from one another. This word speaks to us of not just this time, but the time that we will have ahead whenever all this is done. Of how are we cultivating those spaces, those places to help each other rest. And listen to all the names, listen to all the people that Miss Crosby had, had spoken of in this poem. It's not just speaking about her, she's speaking about those who are under oppression, those who are struggling, those who have a weight upon them. Our call as believers, as followers of Jesus, is not just to find places for ourselves to rest or others that we know or that we 
are in a church with or in a business with or whatever, those that we know or those that we like, it's not just finding them places to rest, it is finding all of God's children places to rest. Because all of the spaces in which we inhabit and the moments in which we inhabit, we inhabit them all together. So I pray that these words have blessed you this day. And I pray that you will find those places for yourself today. And I pray you find a way to offer that place of rest to another. Grace and peace be with you.